Within five seconds, I'll give you the best and worst oil catch cans you need to watch out for. Look at this goop that's coming out of one of the catch cans. And no, it's not oil vapor and just a byproduct of the engine. This actually has something to do with the oil catch can itself. Yes, it does have oil vapor in it as well, but look at the difference. Both of these oil catch cans that I'll show you actually were run at 10,000 miles each. So why does one have much more liquid in it than the other? Well, that's a great question. And that's what we're going to show you guys. Not to mention the goo part of it. I'll explain that as well. Now, 121,000 miles is where we started at for the gold catch can. And we'll go ahead and pull the fluid at around 131,000 miles. This way you guys can see a direct comparison. The problem is this gold can was just 20 some dollars and it had nothing inside of it. So I added a mesh screen like you've seen a lot of people do. And I seemed to help some, but there were other issues that come into play and I used an aluminum style mesh. Well, there's some sort of material made onto the gold catch can that's actually coming into the oil vapors and combustion byproduct itself, forming some sort of goop. Now, for the best oil catch can, we pulled it at 151,000 miles. I mean, check it out. Much different from the gold oil catch can that I'd shown you guys. Now, it has much more liquid than it actually was caught in it. Why is this? Well, I'll show you. You can see there's a baffling system right there on the bottom and we have a brass filter. This actually helps out a lot to stop the vapor from working its way back through. That's why there's more left over. Now you can see on the inside of this can, I mean this thing is coming undone. I'm not sure what kind of material they added to the inside of it but it's actually breaking down and yes i've had the oil catch can for maybe a year or two but really this should never happen guys now what about the other catch can well i'll tell you one thing there's not really a big price difference they're both around the same price around 20 some odd dollars and you can get a universal kit for both oil catch cans. This is why I'm using the other catch can. And in the beginning, those same catch cans were around $100. So they were about nine times the cost or eight times the cost. And I wanted to see if I could actually make a difference making a baffling system of my own. I mean, check out these big chunks of goo. For a second, it kind of worried me. I thought it was like some weird bugs or something inside but apparently not and it was actually in one big chunk and i broke it up as i kind of played with it a little bit well guys if you want more information on this oil catch can or where to find it check the link in the description below not to mention you can get a plug instead of using the valve on the bottom